Which brings us to the question, how do you learn best? And I can't tell you how many people look at me sideways when I ask this question. The first, I'll throw the list at you of all the ways that there are to gather and retain information. Are you ready? First is visual or spatial. This is related to space, the memory of locations, how big a room is, how many chairs fit in that room, how many tiles are in the ceiling. You know who you are. You've already counted the pictures behind me. Mm -hmm. Next is oral, auditory or musical. I liken this to musical Tourette's. If you can't deal with me blurting out lyrics from something we just talked about, yeah, we probably can't be friends. Uh, this goes for movie quotes, too. Next is verbal linguistic. Language and writing are the temple these people worship at. They could sit down and write a 12-page term paper in one hour. One hour, yep. Reading something is how they learn best. Moving right along is physical kinesthetic. Also known as tactile learning. They have to touch, feel, examine everything. They would rather watch 20 YouTube how-to videos than sit in a lecture. They must be from Missouri because their motto is, show me. Next is one I totally don't get, <laughs> but there's a lot of people like this. Logical mathematical. These people learn best in environments that have clear, concise boundaries and definitions. If they are shown an A, they will look for B, C, or X. They think in formulas. For example, do you know what this is? This formula is what won John Nash a Nobel Prize in Economics. And by the way, you may know John from the movie A Beautiful Mind. Social or interpersonal. These people are communicators until they have concluded they understand what you said and that you clearly understand what they said, they really don't feel they've communicated solitary or intrapersonal. Interpersonal communication is actually physically painful for these people. Intrapersonal people learn best by hearing, walking away, thinking, reading, or gathering information for a while, and then presenting their findings in written or digital formats. If you put them on, on the spot, they will choke 100% of the time. And that brings us to the Wheel of Senses. Next time on Creative Thought Design. My daughter, who's a speech pathologist, helped me create this. It does something without doing something. I'm going to let you observe this wheel for 20 seconds. Are you ready? 